Hey, what's happening, guys? Today, I just want to talk a quick video about this scope, the uh, Siglin SDS 1202XE. I've had this for you know, three years or so now, and uh, I, I think it's pretty cool. And I just want to give you a couple reasons. First, let me go over the specs for you. If you haven't seen my video that I did on the review of it, um, it's uh, 200 megahertz, two channel. 14 mega points, one giga sample per second, one me, one mega points FFT, and it has uh, you know all your protocol decoding and stuff. This is a, almost a $400 scope, and you know you're out of the range of the O1s and the hand techs, and you're you're even more expensive than the Regal uh, four channel, which is a very nice scope too. So I would call this like your intermediate level scope. And I, I want to show you two reasons why I really recommend this. And they, they kind of go together. So what I've got going on here is I've just got a can oscillator running at 100 mega, uh, uh, yeah, 100 megahertz? Yeah, 100 megahertz. Right? <laughs> My eyes are bad, forgive me. Okay, so say, you know, you want to compare this waveform to other waveforms. Well, they have that in reference. Since there's a button for it right here. You can save it, which I already have. Then you hit display, turn it on. And now we have that display waveform, which is the same as what we're seeing now. But watch this. I'm going to switch my signal to another point. What I've done is I've put in a uh, Schmidt trigger inverter here. Now our original signal is in the yellow and our reference signal is in the blue so we can see what sort of change has been made to the waveform now all these other scopes do that you just kinda have to hunt for it this one I like because it's right there now I'm gonna turn the display off here you see uh, the source is channel 1 location you can save two of them reference A and B all you have to do is hit save boom you're good to go it's really cool now, the second thing that I want to show you is I think the FFT on this scope is just completely outstanding. So we go to the math button and look at that. Okay, I am on page uh, three of three here. There is an auto set for the FFT. How cool is that? We have display normal, max hold and average. Our channel, what type of a rectangle or window we want to use, handing rectangle, center frequency, hertz per division, our scale, reference level, uh, units and load. And then this is the cool, this is a, see we have our exclusive mode, split screen where we have our FFT on the bottom, our waveform on the top, and then we have them inter, interposed, is that the word? Just a really nice FFT on this. Let me switch back to the original signal here. Oops. And then we'll go back to the auto set. Nope. What I'm going to have to do is reacquire the signal first this way. Then we can auto set, right? Yeah, there we go. See, see how nice that works out? Very cool. Another thing is the, uh, the color grading, which you can turn on and off. And uh, it, think of it like an IR, like a FLIR. The, uh, the brighter the color, the more intense the part of the signal you're looking at. So it gives you like almost a third dimension into the waveform that you're looking at, which... I think it's pretty cool. These are some really nice features. These, you know, these are high-end features you're finding on an intermediate level scope, I would call it. Uh, the only gripes I have for it is there is no high-pass and low-pass filter in the channel menu. We have the skew, invert, offset, trace visible, bandwidth limit. That's all we have is bandwidth limit and our course adjust. So it's not there, and it's also not under our trigger menu, which you can find them there as well.
but yeah very nice scope now I, I generally lean towards the lower cost ones just because I want to show you guys you don't have to spend a lot of money on a scope but if you're looking to upgrade or if you have a few extra bucks you know you can spend more than the $250 for the hand tech, which I still recommend as an excellent beginner scope. This Siglin SDS 1202XE is a really nice scope. And like I said, it's got some really, really nice features. So that's all I have for you today. I just wanted to share that with you. If you enjoyed that, I hope you give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons and a big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.